I greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Commission Thursday, where we believe that every believer is a witness, every believer is the light, every believer is the salt, every believer is Christ ambassador, and every believer is the carrier of the message of good news. And today I want us to focus uh, in the book of Romans chapter 8, uh, from verse 18 to 20. And the scripture says, I'll read from the King James Version, For I reckon the suffering of the present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. For the earnest expectation of the creation awaits uh, for the manifestation of the sons of God. For the creation was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who was, uh, who was subjected the same in hope. Now when we read at this particular passage of scripture, I, I want you to understand that the creation is in pain. It, it didn't say humanity. You know, when the scripture says of humanity, it only means a human race. But the scripture talks of creation. It simply means all the living things. In science, we were taught about living things and unliving things. So when we are talking of creation, we are talking of all in, uh, living things that they were subjected in pain. And it's not their delight, it's not their joy to be in that particular situation. But uh, they've been subjected to it. And once they're subjected into it, they are looking for a deliverer. The creation is looking for a savior. The creation is looking for somebody who can take them out of the situation they are in. And who is the better person to do this except you and me? The people who has the message, the people who are the salt of the earth, the people who are the light. We are the people with what the world is looking for so that we can deliver them or save them from the situation they are in. And for us to be those people to deliver or to save them, we need four things. And number one, uh, talking of the four things, number one is passion. You cannot deliver people if you are not passionate about them. So if you want to be the change agent, you must be passionate. I want you to feel uh, one thing I've learned with, the, uh, with God, the heartbeat of God is always passionate about the lost world. Every time you feel the heartbeat of God, when you read in between the scriptures, it's all about humanity, trying to deliver people. Why? God is so passionate about humanity. Apart from being passionate and the, the same way God is passionate for humanity, the other thing is privilege. You know, God loved us so much. The scripture says, for the creation is groaning and eagerly, for the, uh, and eagerly waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. In other words, we are privileged to be called the sons of God. In other words, being the son, we have the inheritance of God. Uh, apart from him, inheritance, we have the identity of Jesus Christ. And apart from that, he gave us the authority. So we have inheritance, we, ha uh, we have the identity, and we also have the authority. All these are privileges that God has given us so that we can fulfill the Great Commission, so that we can extend the love uh, that he demonstrated to us, to other people. And apart from privilege, another thing that he did for us is purpose. Yes, purpose. The purpose is basically the mandate uh, why we need to reach out. Uh, the, the last scriptures that Christ talked about when he was ascending to heaven, he says, therefore go into the world. In other words, go to the, where people are perishing. Go where people are in pain and reach out to them. Evangelize to them. Share this message with them. Because this is why I allowed you to live on earth. The reason why uh, all of us were saved and still given some time to live on earth is so that we can extend what we've received in the kingdom of God uh, to this particular world. And for us to extend this purpose, uh, we, we will need to pursue, uh, we will need to have another thing which is called the pursuit. When we talk of pursuit, is how far can you go to proclaim this gospel? Can you remain focused to the bigger picture of the Great Commission? Let nothing move you. Let nothing shake you. Let nothing change your understanding and perspective concerning the scripture. Because this is what uh, God intended for us. So the question today that we are asking, who is there that will pursue all the obstacle to fulfill the Great Commission? Who will live to fulfill the purpose of God in his generation and his time? Are you that person? If you are that person, fulfill the Great Commission. And let's do this as we always do it every Thursday when we call it the Commission Thursday. Be blessed.